What's good, y'all? You dial back here again in 2019, bringing y'all more fresh content, doing stuff that other people aren't doing. Now, this video will begin, I know I promise a lot of series of videos, but I'm trying to, trying to keep busting out content, content people are interested in. This video will begin a series of videos dealing with magic, okay? And there's a lot I have to say about magic. I actually know about magic. Um... I study different kinds of stuff. I, I will put this out here. Wonder does not practice. I am not a practitioner of magic, partially because of my views, and I, I'll, I'll address some of that in this video. But the reason I'm doing these magic-based videos is not only to drop knowledge, but because this channel deals in a lot with fiction, discussing some of the issues I have when I come across magic in fiction. I'll be talking about series that do it right. <clears throat> John Constantine Hellblazer. Dr. Stephen Strange to a degree, and some series that do it wrong, <clears throat> Fairy Tale, for example, um, and try to clarify what is actually magic, because there's going to be another video to where magic is, is <laughs> magic is used very liberally, let me just put it this way, people, people have got it to the point where magic, you can pretty much do anything, because it's magic, and while that is true, that isn't true. There are actually rules to magic, but um, I'll get into that at another point. This video will be dealing with magic, magic with a K, and sorcery, and starting to talk about the the foundations of magic, okay? Now, for those who don't know, magic is not this fantastic fairy type stuff. Not to say that there aren't actual magics that deal in those in those um, avenues if you will but magic isn't just this ooh pixie dust and ooh it's just a bunch of mythology no no, no. magic is a very real thing um there are different schools of thought in magic there are different disagreements with magic for example um i don't know how much of that i will get into in this video but we shall see how i want to feel like going with it on this episode first of all what is magic as we normally spell it with a C. Magic with a C, as I often describe to friends who are interested in the occult and stuff. Um, and I don't, I don't fuck with the occult. I do not mess with the occult for a plethora of reasons, which again, get into in a, in a separate topic. Magic, as what we talk about, science is a modern derivative of what we consider magic. Now, science also is a derivative of is is based on math uh, derivative if not based on mathematics and mathematics are based on a certain school of epistemological thought the study of knowledge is a certain school of thought well magic science is like what we know of science and especially practical applicable science is like a little bit of magic honestly it is magic is the manipulation of the laws of physics the laws of nature the laws of mathematics things of that nature okay for example figuring out how to fly okay that's magic getting a big chunk of metal off the ground into the air maintaining in the air is magic people are like well it's science and technology yeah it's still all magic it's just a modern application of magical principles manipulating physics to our whims that's magic manipulating how nature works to our whims is magic that's what it is now magic with a k for example is so it's the most complicated of the three fields that i'm talking about in this video and it's always hard for me to say it's what it is is like <sighs> use of connection to um and abiding by powers outside of oneself or extra dimensional powers if you will um for example uh, ritual magic uh prayers okay um there are different types of prayers for those who don't know it's not just uh christian prayers or prayers in islam prayers in, in buddhism prayers and think there are different types of prayers but prayers um contractional um magic uh blood magic it gets a little bit dicey is it actually magic with a k or is it sorcery which i'll get into but magic with the k is the most complicated of the magics and then sorcery is, is the one is 
definitely against this is where you're getting into the dark arts and such. It's the manipulation of the of the unnatural. Okay, things that go outside of what the natural order of are. You may or may not deal with demonic spirits and things of that nature, but it's just you know things where certain things would voodoo, where you're casting potentially hex magic and a, and a whole slew of other things. Okay, so so those are the principles of magic what you're dealing with when it comes to magic. And again, there will be a lot of separate videos on these things, things like clairvoyance, um, certain forms of foresight, blood magic. Okay, uh, packs. A lot of it's contractual. Um, magic, there is green magic, for example, healing magic, utilizing the earth itself in certain spells. Um, there is groups of thought, like, for example, with the Wiccans, certain groups of pagans, uh, the occult. Wiccans in the occult, the Wiccans don't fuck with it. They do not vibe with the occult, uh, for example, because of certain practices that are done. Um, and a lot of what magic you're dealing with polytheism because you're dealing with various gods. Um, in certain schools of thought, there's the duality, male versus female, or male and female coming together. Um, sometimes there is sexually based magic. Um, they call it by different names, but um, it's joined magic um, to, to go through there. Uh, some magic is very uh, primordial, okay, dealing with primordial uh, forces at, at work. Uh, some magic is, you know, more sophisticated and even coincides with what we have in modern society. So there's some of that. Um, some magic goes back into ancient knowledge. Some magic goes into dealing with what's called sacred geometry. Okay. Um, and like I said, there will be more separate videos with this, but I wanted to put this uh, video out there as a foundation of when I it as a more as a reference point to when I talk about magic later and I'll let y'all know I'm going to be dealing in a lot more stuff. And if there's ever any questions or video topics that you want in the future, I will definitely be apt to and be glad to address those things. You're going to ask about facts versus fiction. Is this actually a very real thing? Um, and I mentioned that I don't practice. I don't practice because of my personal faith. I do know the game. Um, but uh my personal my personal faith i am a christ follower i i don't i don't agree with certain um dealings with other gods i don't i don't agree with certain dealings with various spirits i also know the cost okay which will be getting into different rules about magic later um the contracts that you have to deal with um dealings with different entities i i don't I'm a calculated gambler. I'm a calculated hustler. I, I don't take on those levels of unnecessary risk for what benefit for just for power, for greater knowledge and stuff. I'll pass. OK. Also, you get, it's these things are very seductive to a lot of young, young minds or very seductive to people who want different. OK, want to be different, who who disagree with the orthodoxy of things, the conventional. But you got to be very careful because one thing I will warn before I finish this video out is that you're dealing with most people are dealing with powers they have no idea of. We're talking about immense power. We're talking about when you're dealing with spirits and gods, various various entities, you don't understand that which you're messing with. I don't I don't fuck with things like Ouija boards and stuff. I tell people to stay away. Do your due diligence, do your knowledge. Most people who can start hand, maintaining this stuff has been doing this, has been practicing different stuff for years. And a lot of these people who are old school practitioners or old practitioners will tell you, like, this is not stuff to take lightly. You actually have to be about it. Most people who, who come into magic are dabblers, right? They, they be like lightly touching stuff. You cannot do that. You must be immersive. And when you immerse, that doesn't mean... I, I want to clarify that doesn't mean you're going to get into evil and, and things of that nature. But what it means is that you're going to be doing dealings with stuff you might not be able to handle. One one uh, great example before I close out this video is the first couple volumes of the classic, the old school original John Constantine Hellblazer. Okay. Constantine and his, I believe it comes in the second volume, but con and it tells the backstory, the flashback of when Constantine and a group of his friends were younger, and they did a spell 
and that spell things went sideways they summoned a, a different demon a, a demon they were not ready for and bam bodies dropped so you're dealing with enormous amounts of power enormous beings who were ancient who may be very and very likely be very malignant and very malicious okay so but again we'll get into more stuff later i expect to want to like comment subscribe tell me your thoughts and like i said let me know uh any topics you want me to discuss and we shall uh look forward to do addressing those for you all right y'all have a beautiful day beautiful night peace